Hello and welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which is all about my morning routine. Now I get asked quite frequently from you guys about various different routines, whether it be a morning routine, evening, afternoon, skincare, fitness, cleaning, that's gonna be my favorite one. And I will get around to doing all of those for you guys. But what I wanted to do in today's video is feature my morning routine that I've kind of settled into since we moved into the new house. Okay, so I always wake up before Simon, literally always. More often than not, it's about an hour, maybe an hour and a half earlier. So I get out of bed, let the dogs outside so that they can go to the toilet. And then we all pile back into bed for cuddles until Simon decides to finally surface for the day. During cuddle time, I'm usually on my phone just catching up on comments from any posts, maybe from the day before. And because obviously we're renovating the house, I might also be looking at various things that we're trying to source or even looking on Pinterest at inspiration for a new project that we might be fast approaching. In this case, the kitchen. So once Simon is up, we get ourselves changed and we pop on the dog's harnesses and fleeces or coats, weather depending, so that we can take them out for their morning walk. And honestly, since moving to where we live now in the Kent countryside, I cannot tell you how nice it is living in the countryside. We've got so many different options for walks. We're absolutely spoilt for choice. And it's just such a nice start to the day to get some fresh countryside air and a bit of exercise. Once we're back home, we have a system of getting the dogs in one by one, and it's my task to wipe down their muddy feet. But honestly, I cannot wait until we've had our garage conversion done into a utility, because then we'll be able to enter the house from over there, and the dogs will have their little doggy bath and all of their towels and cleaning stuff, and they can make as much mess and shake all their mud everywhere as much as they like, as we all pile in after a muddy walk. Once we're all in and clean, I pop on the radio, change out of my dog walking clothes, and then I'll make a cup of tea for me and a coffee for Simon. So work on the kitchen is due to start in about a week, which is really exciting. But until then, we're making drinks the old fashioned way with a pan on the hob, because we'll be getting a new working boiling water tap installed. And we don't own a kettle and didn't really see a point in buying one for such a short period of time. I'll also decide what I'm having for breakfast, which is usually cereal or toast and some fruit. Nothing too exciting, but just something to set me up for the morning. And alongside breakfast, I'll take one of the daily multivitamins that I'm currently taking, which are called Perfect Daily by Beauty Pie. These are fully vegan multivitamins and they're dyed with a natural dye, which is from purple carrot of all things. And they're suitable for both women and men. There's a mix of 22 nutrients in there and I take two tablets a day, which are to be taken with food, which is why I keep them in the kitchen. Otherwise I would just forget. When I finish my breakfast, I do my morning clean. This is my favorite part of the day, by the way, which usually takes me about half an hour, depending on what I wanna get done. Sometimes it's a little bit more. This comprises of the usual morning tasks, like making the bed, and I fully strip the bed so that I can fluff absolutely everything up, shake it all out, and then I'll close the door to the bedroom to allow all of the dust and the dog hair to settle, and I'll start wiping down the surfaces in the kitchen, and then it's on to my favorite cardio task, the hoovering. So I'll hoover the entire ground floor, leaving the bedroom until last so that I can get all the dust that's hopefully settled from making the bed. If I know I'll be working in the office for the morning, which is most mornings, then I'll light a candle in there so that it can start giving off a nice scent. At the moment, I'm burning this one from Beauty Pie. It's called Bahia de Mil, I think. <laughs> I hope I've pronounced that correctly. And it's a mix of green basil and licorice milk mixed into balsam fur with a little bit of honey and vanilla and a woody musk in there as well. It smells absolutely beautiful. But that said, I am quite a big fan of Beauty Pie candles. And I can also recommend the Bitter Orange, especially in summer, and the Clean House candle, which is usually the candle that I light when I'm doing a big all day house clean. Once I'm done with the morning clean, I'll head into the bathroom to brush my teeth, wash my face, and do my skincare. Now you'll have to excuse the very 
very outdated ensuite, but it is, as most things in this house, very much on our list of things and rooms to renovate. And we'll hopefully be starting that project later on this year, if all goes well with everything else. Now, as I spend most of my mornings at home working, I usually just cleanse my face and then apply my eye cream and moisturizer, just keeping it really simple. I don't wanna overload my face with lots of different products. So I'm currently using the Beauty Pie Uber Youth Eye Cream, which I absolutely love. It tightens, it de-puffs, and it improves the appearance of dark circles under the eye area, which is always a bonus. And it's also a really nice lightweight product to apply. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky, and it doesn't leave a stinging sensation on the skin, which is my biggest pet peeve when it comes to eye creams. Then it's onto my moisturizer, which is the Beauty Pie Pure Oxygen Moisturizer, which is a super hydrating oxygen infused gel cream. So it's nice and lightweight with a shot of stable vitamin C, which gives my skin a nice radiant glow because I'm all about the dewy glow. And it's also again, a nice lightweight product so it doesn't sit on my skin feeling oily. Now I know some of you are already familiar with beauty pies. I actually get most of my beauty pie product recommendations from you guys, including this moisturizer. But if by chance you're not familiar with beauty pie, it's a membership that gives you access, whether it be a day pass or an annual membership to a whole host of expert skincare, luxury makeup, fine fragrance, hair and body care, and even nutritional supplements, as you would have seen. But at lab direct prices and as an added bonus their products are cruelty free which is why they're one of my go-to's beauty pie cut out the middlemen and the hefty product markups that we're used to seeing with the really big brand names so that we the customers get fair prices of up to 75 percent off but without having to compromise on quality ethics or the environment all of their products are manufactured in the world's best, and I mean the best, beauty labs. The very same labs used by the ultra prestige brand names in Switzerland, Japan, Korea, Italy, and many more. And if like me, the aesthetics of your products is also very important, then you'll be pleased to know that their packaging is beautiful and it's very minimal. And they're the kind of products that you would happily have on display even when your bathroom looks like ours. Now, in terms of daily makeup, I don't wear much at all, and I wear even less when I'm having a working from home day. I don't wear foundation because I don't like the feel of it on my skin. I like my skin to be able to breathe, but I do like to have a nice dewy finish. So I usually mix in a very, very, very small drop of these Beauty Pie strobing drops into the pure oxygen moisturizer just to dilute them a little bit and then i'll pop that on just to illuminate my skin usually around areas like the cheekbones but sometimes i just pop it all over now these drops are very illuminating probably one of the best highlighters that i've ever used so a little goes a long way and the bottle lasts for absolutely ages I also like to style my brows using this Archology Sculpting Gel, again from Beauty Pie, and it tames, tints, and thickens brows. Now I'm currently trying to grow out my brows, which I have had, oh my gosh, countless issues with over the years. I have barely any hair towards the ends of my eyebrows just due to a lot of over plucking as a teenager. But on a daily basis, I do like to use this gel to give them a little bit of a fluff up and a bit of a tame whilst I'm in the process of trying to grow them out. Now, what I love about this brow gel specifically is the teeny tiny little brush, which is great for precision, especially towards the tails of my brows where I don't have many hair. Now, once my quick morning skincare is done, I usually get changed into something comfy and cozy, some sort of loungewear, perhaps a chunky cardigan, and I make myself a cup of herbal tea and head into the office to get started with work. By now, the candle has filled the room with its scent. I've got our squidgy wool berber rug underfoot and probably a pair of cashmere socks on. And it's just such a nice, relaxing and cozy environment to work in. This is definitely one of my favorite rooms in the house that we've done so far. Now the time I spend in here varies depending on what I actually have to get done, but I normally start with checking my emails and replying to any that need replying to. I might update my Pinterest account with any recent outfits and I might spend a bit of time pinning inspiration to my other boards as well for those people that follow me on Pinterest. 
If I've done any filming or photos perhaps for Instagram, then they'll also need to be edited, which is usually what takes the majority of my time. As Simon takes care of YouTube, he does all of the editing for those videos that you see here on my channel. And I'm very thankful for that because video editing is really not my strong point at all. So in that respect, we make a very good team. Now, whilst I'm working, I always have a hand cream to hand, pardon the pun, uh, so that I can moisturize my hands whilst I'm doing something easy like using the laptop, which technically only really involves my fingertips. My hands have suffered so much over the last couple of months just due to all the DIY and the initial deep clean that I did when we first moved into the house. So I'm trying to give them some much needed TLC before the next project starts in a week's time. Now this is the fourth time that I've ordered this Beauty Pie Super Dose Vitamin C hand cream because it's one of very few hand creams that I've found which are non-greasy, which is ideal when you never stop doing things with your hands like me. I'm usually always on my phone or laptop, eating, playing with the dogs, cleaning, doing DIY, etc, etc. So I need a hand cream that absorbs really quickly and doesn't leave greasy fingerprints everywhere. Superdose is fully loaded with naturals, including coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and 2% bio vitamin C, which is great for reducing the appearance of sunspots and improves the visible signs of aging, which is also something which is becoming quite important to me these days. And there we go. So I'd usually stay in the office and until lunchtime, of which then I would break for lunch. Now I'd like to thank Beauty Pie for being a part of this video. They are products that I use and that I love. So it's been an absolute pleasure to be able to work with them. And if there's anyone out there exploring the idea of a membership with Beauty Pie, you can get 10 pounds off your membership with the code that is displayed on screen. And also I've popped that code down in the description box as well for anyone that wants it. And if anyone has got any Beauty Pie product recommendations that you absolutely love, please leave them down in the comment section below because I always find them really helpful and I know that others will find them helpful as well. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I will see you next time.